MP for Talasia, Freddy Kumai, has raised concerns in Parliament today in regards to the rise of law and order in Western Britain since the opening of the New Britain Highway. He said criminal activities are on the rise with no police presence along the highway. Mr. Kumai also mentioned that there is a certain route and link evolving around the maritime provinces of Morobe and eastern West New Britain provinces, both on land and sea, that contributes to the rising law and order rates in the province. Can the minister inform the House if the police department has any plans to establish border posts at certain strategic locations? to destabilize the illegal route and arrest perpetrators. That's number one. Number two, can the minister also consider the establishment of water police units at hotspot locations along the maritime districts and coastal villages where people travel in speedboats? Passengers and cargo on shipping vessels are checked as standard procedures. However, speedboats operating between the waters of Leigh, Siasi, Canon Gloucester, and Kimber need to be monitored as well. Minister for Internal Security Peter Siamalili Jr. said these are challenges said by all countries that are committed to economic development and improving services to its people. He added that the RPNGC, with the support of the government, is well positioned to meet the threat of this criminal element. I am advised, Mr. Speaker, by the Commissioner that the development of further highway patrols, posts in key highways, and further investment in water police capabilities in coastal areas uh, form key components of our RPNGC planning activities. I'm advised that the maintenance of an agile and responsive water policing capability remains a key component of RPNGC's strategic focus. Freddie Mo, TV1 News.